Hey, how's it going everybody? This is NestQuesters here coming at you with a Hack Any 3DS uh, with Homebrew Kit. Um, we're going to do it with Cubic Ninja. You can do it with any um, 3DS, so let's go ahead and get started. You're going to go to your Ninja Hacks website with the links provided below. You're going to go ahead and download your Homebrew Starter Kit, which is uh, pretty much everything you need to start Homebrew in your uh, 3DS for all the files and all the, uh, the, the emulators that comes with a few in there. So you're going to get the starter kit and you're going to extract it to your desktop using something like WinRAR. Um, I assume you guys know where to get that. Um, and then you're going to uh, transfer it to the root of your SD card. So that means uh, just right in the main folder of your SD card. And then you're going to go ahead and go check your version in your system settings of your 3DS. Uh, my version I got here is running is 11.6039U. And you're going to need that for the next step we got going on here because you're going to go back to that Ninja Hacks website. You're going to enter in whether you got an old or new 3DS, and then you're going to enter in your firmware number. Now, this is very important because it curates uh, the QR codes uh, to your update. So make sure you get that put in uh, correctly, and then make sure you put in your uh, European, uh, US, or Japanese, and then you're going to go ahead and update the QR code. Now, this is going to make a QR code that uh, you're going to take pictures of whenever you go to your Cubic Ninja game. Um, now these QR codes are going to allow you to download the uh, the hacks. So make sure you have internet connection. Go back to your 3DS. Now after you get Cubic Ninja started up, you're going to want to make sure that your save data is uh, all deleted off of there. So you're going to go to the uh, main menu. You're going to hold down your left and right uh, buttons along with the X and Y. And then it's going to ask you if you're going to delete the save data twice. Uh, my stuff is already on there, and I don't want to have to take all the pictures of the QR codes again, so I'm going to uh, choose not to delete my data, but make sure yours is deleted. Uh, upon completing that, you're going to go to the Create level, and then you're going to go to the QR code portion of it. Now, this part is going to bring up your camera, and at this point, you're going to go back to the Ninja Hacks websites and take pictures of all 16 uh, QR codes that they have generated there for you. Now, you're going to see a bar at the bottom, uh, disappear after the QR code has been successfully put in there. Um, it's going to say, you know, this isn't um, good information or this isn't a good QR code, but it'll be fine. Just go ahead and press the B button and then keep on scanning those codes until all 16 are scanned. Uh, once your thing is successful, you're going to back out and then go back to the QR codes. And then this will allow the uh, homebrew launcher to launch. And then you're, gonna, you're good to go. This is all you got from here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that it, make, that it works. Um, tapping in the GBA launcher. I'm going to follow you guys a quick ROM real quick. Uh, let's go ahead and pick... Um, let's go with this hack that I haven't checked out yet. Uh, so you're going to go to the our, locate our ROM folder. And go ahead and click our GBA game. It should start up. Yep. Perfect. And the sound is pretty darn good. Uh, if you guys any uh, have any other comments, suggestions, just go ahead and let me know. Appreciate you guys stopping by, and I hope this helps you guys out. Peace.